Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? So, this is a blank sheet of paper, soon to be a plan, a rough plan, for a workbench. Now, workbenches, they're fairly simple. You know, like this one in behind here. I built this one with all my gunk on it. Uh, two by threes. I want to build a workbench in the shed. Our shed building there out of uh, two by fours, a little stronger. So uh, this is the W O R K B workbench. Workbench plan. This is the workbench plan. And yes, I did just use a piece of paper just for that. Now you know. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking I want to make this workbench a full eight feet. Makes sense, you know, because it's an eight foot sheet of plywood for the top. Lumber comes, well, more than eight foot lengths, but plywood is eight feet, so eight foot. So, uh, okay. Uh, this is going to be freehand drawn because I don't have a ruler here. So um, let's do a couple of different drawings here. Let's do uh, and this table I'm working on now. It's probably a little big. It's funny enough about 29 inches, believe it or not. 29 inches if I get this thing out of your way. <laughs> it's actually 29 inches. Can you freaking believe that? Okay, just for fun, you know what? We're gonna make our workbench 29 inches wide. Why not? <laughs> I was actually aiming for 30, and um, 30 would give us a little bit, well, that would give us uh, a foot and foot and six inches of a backsplash, but uh, I think I'm going to go 20, 29 inches, if you can believe that. 29 inch. Now this isn't to scale, mind you. This is just going to be uh, just a rough plan. 29. And then this is going to be eight foot. Uh, what's that? Ninety six. My memory is just terrible. So ninety six inches. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to make a huge difference, but okay. So the way this is going to be, this is going to be, we'll say, the west wall. All right. And our doorway would be over here kind of thing. So we're going to have this in our workbench here. 29 inches from the wall. <laughs> can't believe that's actually... Oh my gosh. Anyways. Uh, what I want to do is... So this is going to be, of course, 8 foot 96 inch as well. Um, I'm going to probably build it... Now this is looking down... down top view. So you're looking at the plywood top here. Okay, so there's no plywood on it yet. So what I want to do is probably one two by four is probably enough for legs. See, I'm thinking this corner here would be our vice. You want that fairly beefy. So I might run I don't know exactly how I'm going to attach everything yet, but I think I'm going to run the legs on the inside. So we're going to run legs here. And 2x4 would probably be lots. Probably should do it out of a 4x4, four four, but we're not going to be dancing on this thing really that much. So I think uh, 
Well, if I did uh, two two by fours, so this way, laminate them together and then glue them and, and screw them. I think that'd be a lot strong and that would give me uh, lots this way and whatever the width that way to, to attach the sides to. So we'll be screwing, uh, let's do this one, we'll be screwing here, here, and then here and here. And then probably down through the top as well to hold the top on and then all around the top. And then I'm thinking... Um, Probably do some supports this way, maybe one. How many feet apart? So we've got um, mm, a foot apart. Would that be too much? Too close together for supports? So we need uh, First one off, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven supports. So seven. If everything's square, it should be 29 inch for the crosses. think here that if we do these ones to go this way and eight feet that's gonna man that's not uh, that's not quite gonna work boy there's some thinking to do here measurement measurements and stuff because I'm thinking if I uh, if I put my two by four like this way on the end and the table itself is already eight feet there's not gonna be wood to cover that extra two by four so we'd have to sh have to shrink those in a little bit ooh some 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 measuring to think of hmm because things like that you, I like to think ahead about but then I get there and then something else comes up and it's like oh crap now I messed that up <laughs> So we'd have to take off an um, inch and a half, so another three inches shorter, and that would cover the, the ends as well. Some stuff to think about. So this isn't actually going to be 96. Inch and a half. Two, three, so ninety-three inch. So ninety-three plus the ends will give us that eight feet. It should, anyways. Better. Okay, so ninety-three inch sides. And that's, boy, I'm not thinking of it right, I guess, here. this That doesn't seem like it's going to work to me. It's one thing I've never had really good skill at is leaving room for stuff on the ends and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, so I do have some plans that I'm kind of basing this off. If I look it up here, where did I put it now? Oh my goodness. So on Pinterest I found a pretty neat uh, workbench here. I'm kind of somewhat basing this off of. Kind of looks like that. But they don't really give you something different hang on okay so this one here for instance they've uh, I don't know if I can zoom this they've 
basically made their outside frame and then just screwed the legs to the outside frame. Uh, I guess I could do that. I was going to do it on the inside. But this one they're kind of showing like the legs being on like the outside. I guess that would work too. So you'd still be your 4x whatever. Your, well, 29 by 8 feet that way. Um, put them on the outside though you might have you'd have to adjust I guess in here boy another thing to think about some things it's just not that easy <laughs> you think about it and it's like oh yeah I can do that and then you stop and think about it for more and then it's like oh well then what if, if I do this this is gonna happen to there and welcome to construction right Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is probably the same as theirs. I, I kind of like the, the legs on the inside, but I guess maybe I'll do them on the outside. And um, So that's going to change our dimensions just a hair little bit, but um, I can adjust. I'll make that 29 on the top. And then basically what, what theirs was on that little uh, thing I, sh I saw is their plywood actually... Um, Okay, so let's redraw this. So that's 20, 29 by 8 foot, and their legs went out, out here. But they actually had the plywood hang out over, so there's actually going to be a little wider than 29. Oop, kind of like that plywood and then plywood at the top like that so there's like a little bit of a lip there which is fine um, gives me a little more workspace but uh, I mean I could put it down if I really it, I mean it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be 29 it's just this I just basically based this off this table because this one worked out to 29 but that's okay so we'll figure we'll figure out what we actually need for for wood but I do need uh, seven cross pieces at I think I'm gonna make this 29 I don't know it's gonna be up in the air it's gonna be more like this is just a plan to see kind of roughly what I need and I always you know get a little extra anyways because a little extra wood's not gonna hurt you so okay so that's good that way so now we need to draw That's the top, and then the leggy things. We've got to figure out how. It's not very good <laughs> to scale there, but i got to figure out how tall I want to make it now, and that's going to determine how much lumber I need. So I'm just going to measure my table over here. I know you can't see, but it is... No, well, it ended up being uh, to the wood. 37 inches kind of sort of thing I think that should be that should be decent like one inch over three feet so it's three feet like one inch 37 and that's a fairly decent counter it's just above my waist and I kind of like it a little higher so you're higher when you're working and you're not kind of reaching down so we're going to go 37 inch. Ooh, and then we could do, uh, you know, like this kind of stuff. Uh, that way. Oh, geez. Sorry. And then the other leg would come kind of down back side there. It's not exactly to scale. But, and the other leg here would be kind of like like there. We almost got it. Okay, so we're going to need uh, one, two, three, four. Four like a 37 inch. We need uh, now, what I was thinking about the vise here, because you're always pushing, and I want to make it maybe a little beefier on this corner, so I might run two, another board on the inside, and 
glue it. I might glue a lot of this together with uh, construction glue and screw it with, with uh, wood screws. Uh, but on here, I might just run another eight foot piece. Another eight foot piece. So we're gonna need uh, one, two, three. Width and we've already got uh, the cross beam, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably another one in there. So I know we need seven of them. Kind of mess it up so we could do like another one there, maybe. Seven. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to figure out after how much we're going to need all together. And we need a. Uh, ooh, what size of plywood for the top? Three quarter inch would be pretty thick and be pretty heavy, beefy. I'm going to have to look when I get there. It also depends how much it costs, right? <laughs> Plywood's freaking expensive up here. We get ripped off on plywood, so. Um, now the guy had made a, like a hutchy thing on the back too, and basically what he had done was ran some other two by fours. Two of them actually. Can't quite get it all in there, but then ran them up. like that on each side to put like a, a hutchy thingy and there was a like a board on the back. I'm gonna use the other piece of the top for for the board so there'll be uh, this gives you a rough idea. This is a terrible drawing. <laughs> and then he put um, cross thing here with like a shelfy thing on it between it's kind of hard to draw all that but you know what I kind of get the idea roughly <laughs> what I'm talking about I don't know if I'm going to do this part today I might leave that for another day we'll get the main main wood for <coughs> pardon me for the uh, uh, bench itself and maybe get that fired together today so uh, as long as my little cordless drills don't need charge if they need charge we're done <laughs> because that's what I want to be using for that so, okay, let me just go over all this again here and uh, figure out, make sure we got everything. And I'll see how much, how many eight footers, um, two by fours we're gonna need to get. That's sort of the main idea here. Well, anyways, here's the other one I was kind of basing it off of because the legs are in the inside. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of like that idea better because then I can run another two by four on the inside, especially on the vice end and glue and screw everything together it gives me more solidness there right so i still might even build it this way that's how i built this table here i think it was everything was on the inside and it's basically framed on the outside but uh i don't know i'm up in the air but i'm getting a rough idea of what we need here um so uh this is sort of our shopping list here uh so f for all these Cross pieces and the ends. We need nine of them at 29 inches. So I need, uh, whoa, three eight footers. I believe that is right for that. I'll cut up. Um, I should be able to get three. I made a slot here again. I made them at 30, I think, just to kind of round it off. So 30. And that's 60. Got uh, 12, 24, yeah, that's 89, and that's about four, five inches shorter than eight feet, so I should be able to get three 29s out of, out of the eight foot, so I'm gonna need, uh, yeah, three, six, nine, so nine of them. So that's only three eight foot, yeah, I'm just trying to think of my head. <laughs> In here, not sound stupid. Uh, for the sides, we're gonna need. No, so that's the side legs. Uh, here, we're gonna need uh, two. 
no, sides, sorry, 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 sides on the table, I need two eight-footers, that's easy. Uh, legs, we're going to need four, uh, two by four by eights. Let's just double check that, so 37, 36 or 7, 37 times 2 is, 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 is going to be 74, not 6 foot 2 inches, so I need, uh, yeah, basically two 8 footers for th that. And I put four because I want to double everything up, so I'm going to put two layers. I could use a four by four, but I'd rather use two by fours, I think. And then glue and screw everything. Um, I don't know why. Four by four is probably a lot more money than two by four, believe it or not. So I think that should be everything to just build our table. So we're going to need... Uh, where's my eight two by fours? So I'm going to go with ten... Just in case. And then we're going to need uh, thick ply when I got a circular saw here I can cut that with. So, okay, I'm not going to take this plan with me, but I'm going to take a picture of it. And let's head to the hardware store and see what we need to get. I might even get a couple extra 2x4s. Um, I don't know for eventually building this thing, but I might, I don't know, maybe I'll get 12 2 by 4s depends how much they are, I think they were $3 and something cents a piece, so I can't take my camera in there though, unfortunately, because they actually say no video photography on the door, <laughs> but uh, I'll take the camera with me, but not in with me, so let's head to the depot, it's fired up, oh yeah, now before, we get too far. I better unlock these. Oh, never mind, they were already unlocked. Because we're going to have to put all our wood in there. Alrighty. Okay, it's kind of a rainy, spitty, weird day today, but. Anyways, another thing I'm going to need too is a box of screws. I do have construction glue. And I think I got everything else. So we'll get a, we'll get some, uh, let me think now. Inch and three quarter screws, I think. That should be good. Anyways, let's head her to the store. Oh, nope, sorry, two and three quarter. Because you put the two by fours together, they should be three inch. You don't, I could get three inch, but I really don't want it punching through mm -hmm. kind of thing. But uh, I'm just going to turn here. And let my truck warm up a little bit because I just have to barely basically you just go down the road it's hardly any distance at all but uh, she'll uh, be nice to have a little bit of a warm up for it first so let's get her down to the store all right we made her home uh, got some wood boy it was, whew, while selecting through the lumber to find decent stuff you get like a run of a really good like four of them five of them are really good and the rest are like split and cracked and like edge bits you know I'm a little fussy I guess wasn't too many that were twisted which was good that usually happens after you've had it for a couple of weeks <laughs> storing it and then all of a sudden they'll go all twisted on you somehow in the pile of stuff they seem to uh, pile of wood they or the lift of whatever they call that they seem to stay fairly good but once you get them home they twist like crazy so I think once they get into a little more warmth but it's warm inside like you're inside picking stuff out so Anyway, so we got, uh, I totally forgot to think about the bottom supports. So I got extra wood for that. I thought that way, and I'm like, how am I going to keep the legs steady on the bottom? I need supports. So I got some supports. Uh, anyways, we're just backing in here. Not running over anything, hopefully. Uh, I got a 5 8 inch 4x8 sheet of plywood. Three quarter was just a little bit too heavy duty beefy and it was like whew, expensive. 
<laughs> I'll show you some of the prices for our lumber here in, in Ontario. It sucks. But anyways, we got a bunch of stuff to take in. I guess we'll fire up the furnace and uh, try to get her a little warmer in there. It's only 2 degrees Celsius out here now, so it's not terrible bad, but a little chill off would be nice. And uh, let's get in. Low, unload her. See what we got to do here. That's a lot of wood. It's like almost a whole tree. All right, is that enough lumber? It's a good thing I made the thing really tall because I can just lean that stuff up. Sort of was my idea. No, I'm just kidding. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to work on a workbench for this area. I should mark it off how far I want to go down. It's going to be eight feet, of course, so we'll start maybe at this guy here. And I can't tell you if it's going to be exactly perfect. It's probably not because I think I screwed up the walls. But... Uh, Come on, you butthole. Seven. Oh, yeah, I messed up the walls a little bit, but anyways. We can get her somewhere close in there. So it's gonna go to basically almost to this beam. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna probably do this in a fast times and I might potentially do another release and building it regular time, if you guys want. Fast time's a little better because it's you know, a little faster and you guys don't sit there and get bored out of your skull. So, anyways, we got our saw here. I showed you some stuff I brought up. I got a, one of these. I know I've got one of these <laughs> somewhere. Um, chalk line. Uh, if I have to, I'll get this one open and for you know cutting that uh, piece of plywood whenever we get to that. It's gonna be a while till we get to that part, so I'll throw that up on the other table for now. This uh, is my screw-in gun, which we're not going to need quite yet, but I've got two of them in here. And I don't know how good right now these batteries are. i got a little pre-driller. And this thing has been a butthole since new. It's one of the chuckless, you know, things. And it loosens up after a while, so I know I've cranked that on as much as I can get it and eventually that'll loosen up the bit will fall out. I don't know, whatever. And uh, I'm not going to need that for a minute. I got the other one, the impact gun here with the, uh, that'll get the, uh, that'll get the uh, bit driver in it for the screws. So not going to quite need those quite yet. Come on and heat. Uh, what we will need though is a saw. I gotta really think now how I wanna do this table. Do some measuring and stuff. So uh, that open. And I never did any construction stuff in school, so I am a total, complete, utter noob when it comes to this stuff. So. But I do want to glue some of these together, and I got a fresh tube, and I got a, a used tube here, and I think it's, it's got about this much left in it, but the, I'm going to have to dig all this crap out of the end here, or not. That's pretty tough crap. It all hardens down on the end there, right? So I might just, I, I don't know. Uh, I'll maybe dig at it and see what I can get out. See if I can get it flowing again. But usually once you've used this stuff, it's kind of really not the greatest to use again, but anyways, I'll think about that. I'll have to get something to dig that out. And of course, other tools you might need is a nice speed square for drawing lines and a pencil thing, of course. Uh, this is my huge ass speed square. I don't really need one that big, but I do have small ones, but I forgot them down at the garage. But I mean, I got another, I got that one square, the big one, but I 
I showed you, and I got another smaller one too. You'd think I was an unsquare kind of fella or something, but hey, you, you gotta be square, man. You gotta be square. Anyways, uh, okay, let's do some uh, laying out here and uh, figure what we're gonna do. I'm gonna probably go into the fast times after this here. I might put you in that corner over there too, maybe over here, face it that way. Okay, there we go. Basic construction complete. I might reinforce here and there, back and forth, back, you know, whatever I kind of find that I feel that I need somewhere. But she's all glued, so, and that stuff, boy, that was a new tube, and I couldn't hardly squeeze that out of that tube. That stuff was probably too old. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to try to flip it over, because it is actually upside down right now. And uh, I might end up doing double the feet on it, you know what I mean? I might run another let set of legs down. 38 and 37 and 7 eighths is what that ended up to be because only I only made it that because uh, after cutting the 229, this one I had left, I'm like perfect for a leg. Let's use that. So we uh, cacked one battery. edge on this side. I wasn't really watching the lumber I guess too much but uh, 
she's got a bit of a burr, we'll say, on the corner here. But that's not terrible, too bad. Uh, I don't exactly know how square I am. It might be miles and miles and miles off, which it sort of looks like to me, but... Uh, the, ones, the one board I should have re... Uh, you know, not used again. Uh, it was uh, kind of warped and I had to really pull her hard and that's probably what's put her out of a, out of a square a little bit. So uh, we can check over oh, miles out of square. <laughs> we're miles out of square. There anyways, what about this side? Terrible bad. She's not quite exactly square. And this, unfortunately, because I glued it, is the time to fix that. And I, you know, I don't even know if I can. That's actually not bad there. It's not too bad. And I can almost take that. Bang on perfect on this corner and Wow, we pretty good there too. So now we want to get a chunk of plywood down on there and get it all ready, which we uh, might have to. Well, that one didn't tighten in too good there, but the uh, drill was getting kind of soft in the end there. So um, okay, probably gonna have to check square again. Interesting. I'll have to probably glue that to the floor or something, or screw it down. I mean, you kind of you don't want it leaning forwards. Now I do have a, a level here, but this isn't going to be exactly where it's going to be sitting. But if we move her back to the wall, it's leaning forward a little bit. That end, anyways. This end's really not too bad, so it's probably got one shorter leg there that I'll have to figure out which one it is. And uh, but that's the total last step is level and off. So um, okay, well now as long as we've got uh, oh crap, where's my tape? There it is. As long as we've got pretty much the same measure. It's gonna be hard to measure this because of the. Uh, 32. I gotta put a bunch of 29s across first, though. We're pretty good that way, for as in the plywood, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna do some 29s here. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking a foot apart. Gonna make one be right. Actually, you know what? That'll be fine because this is gonna be my vice end. Perfect. So I'm gonna do a foot apart, and then I'll have another one kind of right here. And I might even triple stack this one on the end here, so she's good and strong. The only thing is, I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I can squeeze out enough uh, freaking goo out of that tube. I got one more down in the other garage there. That might be all right because uh, I want to. Uh, Laminate these three together on the end here. Boy, that doesn't look square there to me at all. I know that, but... Let me get off again. It's off again. Out a little bit there, I guess. So that's not doesn't help much. Okay, let's put her, put her there again. Put her there. Give her that. Wrong tool. I think it's weird here too. It's still off a bit. You can't guarantee the lumber is perfect though, so that's really good right there actually. There's no movement there either, so if it stays right there, that would be fabulous. Now if I let that glue dry, it would. But uh, I want to kind of keep going on this thing here and get her at least a top on it today, but I got a bunch of whole bunch of 29s to do here. 29 and an 8. I might have to do them right on 29 and suck it in. Because I don't know if this is... 
bowing out or anything here. I can't really tell that, right? They all looked good in the store. Like I say, they look good in the store. But uh, <laughs> you get them out here, it's like, oh crap. These ones, though, I don't know if I'm going to glue. So you know what, I should probably mark one foot segments first. If I did. I'm going to start on the inside here, go from inside measurements to measure a foot. Foot. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. You know. As long as they're somewhat, somewhat in there. Might not have enough battery to finish this today. Okay, and then there's another seven. And I'll just we have two in there, so I'm gonna need two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. Eight twenty nines. Okay, we got a pile of cutting to do. Here we go. All right, time for a break and recharge. Stupid batteries. Actually, that was pretty good. We did this whole thing, drilling them and screwing them together, and uh, didn't do too bad. So sweet. Alrighty, we got juice batteries. We'll uh, go in here and uh, fasten the rest of these guys in. And uh, oh, I don't think I can get glue into these sides, but I would if it was squeezable. That <laughs> glue, but it's not so. But, anyways, that's all right. Not so hard to big of a deal. But uh, we gotta get this uh, kind of square here. If I can get the square, oh, get the square to work here for me. Somewhere about there. I did 
these holes, but I didn't square it. Anyways, uh, let's get at her fast timer. Well, there we go. Wow, we got her mostly done all in one day. I got to do some cross pieces yet. That's why I didn't screw that thing to the wall yet. Uh, and I want to get in maybe another sheet to put like a... One of these might work. Not quite, but to put underneath for like another shelf kind of thing. More junk, right? You can put more junk in there. But uh, look, we got our first victim up here. Sweet. I don't know what it is. Some kind of two-stroke, some sort. But that is it. I, uh, so what I did, I put those little pans under here just so it left a little bit of room where I could still pull this thing out so I can screw from the other side. So we'll just have to do that. Yeah, and then this is our vice corner. Should be good and beefy there. There's tons of wood. It's, uh, it might even get some more on this side yet too. 20, a little less than 29 inch. Might bring her right out to the edge. So that'll be, uh, well, we got a couple of scrappy pieces here two will bring pretty much to the edge so I might even do that yet and that'll beef up that vice corner you want that good and strong there so I think once we get her attached to the wall she'll be good pretty much there sweet good project you missed it the whole thing I just seriously hit the kill button on the last clip and I hear a come in I was waiting for the housekeeping <laughs> but no anyways so yeah so we got a little bit more work to do not too bad though that is something you could actually work on now and I might even get my blankets and come out and sleep on this tonight no I'm kidding that would be too cold but uh, anyways there we go sweet and that just shut off so we, uh, we ate up a bit of propane today. <laughs> I gotta finalize this too and uh, get like a shelf 
built in the corner here for the tank to sit on different sizes, you know, so maybe adjustable or something. Because these 20s, they, you know, they don't last too long, but you might get a day, a couple of days out here with current insulation, but once it's well insulated, it might be a lot better. So, anyways, we're on our way. Sweet! You guys have a good day. If you want to see the full version, let me know. I can repost that as well. Basically the same thing, only slower. So, my speed. Slower speed. So, but anyways, catch us all later. You guys have a good one, and thanks for building.